JVH performance, baby. How the fuck shoot up? Boom! That's what's up. Alright. What's up, guys? Coach Joe from Crime House Training Systems and Zach Strength here down in New York with uh, JVH or JVH Performance. The place is fucking dope. It's badass, it's kick ass. Uh, we met each other through the Underground Strength Certification. Shout out to Zach Evanesh and all the Underground Strength Coaches. Uh, really linked up, kind of the same mindset, same attitude. So uh, what better way than to uh, get better at the business than meeting with another coach, kicking ass, taking names over here. Uh, so we linked up, got an awesome mastermind in, and as well as training, just finished training. Uh, so I'm just gonna ask him a couple questions, all right? So give it up for my man, John. All right, so the first question, all right, is uh, the overall background. So John, what's your overall background? Right, so my name, first of all, is John Hope, John B. Hope, hence the uh, JVH Performance. Uh, played sports all my life, was a three-sport athlete for most of uh, high school. I was uh, football, wrestling, baseball. Stopped playing baseball in 10th uh, grade, focused more on football and wrestling and trained for that. Uh, did well there, ended up going and playing uh, football in college. Still love wrestling, so I always wrestled throughout college. Uh, graduated with health, health promotion exercise science degree. Um, immediately went to work for myself, had a client, a uh, private personal training client. Uh, and then I was doing the uh, youth mat club, and then I picked up my first athlete client. He was a wrestler, and I just became hooked on training athletes. Like that was just the key for me, man. It was like I wasn't into the private training uh, client thing, so I kind of got rid of that over the course of the year and just developed this kick-ass group of wrestlers, football players, and cross players, and just trained athletes out of uh, another guy's gym. I, I subleased his gym. Uh, before I knew it, I racked up 35 to 40 plus clients. Uh, he ended up going bankrupt, so I was, you know, stuck in, in uh, thin air with 40 clients. I had to open up my small, my own small spot, and uh, that's the spot we're at now. It was half the size it is. I, I just recently expanded it, and uh, you know, I, with the gym, I run the gym. I train uh, adults in the, in the mornings and nights. Also have a, a shitload of athletes, and I, I coach full-time uh, assistant varsity wrestling coach at the, the local high school that I went to. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm living my dream right now. Yeah, so it's going well. Uh, it's pretty cool just because right now I'm training people out of my garage. So to see someone who kind of followed that same footsteps and slowly building up and to be here for me is really cool because I look up to the people who are more successful than I am. And you know, you look around, this place is it's just it's fucking badass. And you know, you're just breeding animals here. Um, so that makes me excited. All right. So the second question is, is what's the method behind the madness? What, what, how do you train? What's it like here? If you came in for a workout, um, what, like, you know, what, what do you go through? If, if I'm an athlete coming to your place to get better, faster, stronger, what will we do here? First thing is always, uh, you know, evaluate, evaluate the, the kid, the adult or the athlete. As soon as they walk through the door, what's their attitude like? What's their energy level? That's like yeah. key number oh, yeah. one. Uh, we always do an eval and assessment. The, the athlete or the client is getting a workout in and of themselves, but the whole time, you know, whoever it is, whether it's myself or one of my coaches, we're evaluating, assessing their, their abilities. And then we place them in the, with uh, whatever their, their program where they would be at, as far as like a rookie level, advanced or elite. Um, and then we kind of progress them through there. It's a pro progressive, regressive system. So we do have, uh, you know, base level workouts, but not everybody's doing the same work. Everybody's individualized based on their, you know, mobility issues, injuries, or, or uh, level of training, age, whatever it might be. And we're big focus on Olympic lifts and derivatives of it. Uh, we got some some powerlifting methods in there, some bodybuilding. I don't discriminate against yeah. discrimi discriminate against any training, uh, but I kind of use all the methods and just combine it into my own training system and it's worked really well. I've been lucky, I've been fortunate. I've also been working really hard to be able to do that and the, the results just kind of speak for themselves. It's all yeah. word of mouth and shit like that. So yeah. the adults love it, the athletes love it and you know, I tend to keep that way. No, that, that is so true. Just Yeah, I man, I'm the same exact way. Just kind of no hating on anything, just kind of put it together and just create an overall, just a badass mayhem of just an ass whooping and uh, getting athletes better, faster and stronger. Uh, what do you think is the most underlooked aspect of training, you would say, with as far as, you know, just coaching and athletes in general? That's what you just said, coaching. Coaching is, like, by far the biggest thing. You need to care beyond belief. Like, if, if you care, it shows. Your clients see it, people around you see it. If you care, you'll evolve. You'll get better. My training program as it is today is 10 times different than it was a year ago, 20 times different than it was two years ago. Because I care so much, I'm constantly trying to learn. Learn just like Joe here, trying to learn from other coaches, follow guys that are top-notch in the industry, 
And again, I, you know, I'm not just taking it out of the books or taking it off the internet. I'm, I, I learn things and I apply it as, as it would fit to my system and kind of put my own, my own spin on it. And, uh, you know, it's fun. It makes it challenging. You learn more. You want, you want to get better as a coach. And, and right there, just care. Uh, I have to add to that, too. Just the mental aspect, especially dealing with younger right, athletes, like high school, college athletes. Of course. You, you got to be mentally tough, especially these days. There's a lot of outside training. There's a lot of distractions. If you know you put in the work, you worked as hard as you possibly could, you put an all-out effort for X amount of time towards your craft, whatever it might be, yeah. mentally you know you put in that work, so you're not going to fold. You're going to just keep moving forward. Right on. All right, so the two questions that I have, I, th I didn't tell John about these questions either. I just kind of thought of them as I was driving here. So he doesn't know what's coming next. The other ones they gave him a little prep on. But these ones, all right, John, if you could be one superhero, oh, who would you be? Captain America. Captain America. Is that too much old? Damn, he's all right. Bad question. Now this one's better though. All right. If you could hang out with Arnold Schwarzenegger and you couldn't work out, what would you guys do? Damn. That's a good one. Damn. You can't would, work out. Can't touch touch a weight. I would have to say he would have to teach me some acting or some shit. Some like acting. That so I could be better in front of the camera. I was gonna say Zumba, but <laughs> I mean, probably not. Acting now. Probably not that smooth. <laughs> probably not. But anyway. All right, so I came down here, this is in New York, all right, it's a badass facility, badass training. It's really cool for a young buck like me to get out here and uh, train with someone who's better than me or has walked down the kind of the same path at, at the point that I'm in now and to see, you know, how sex successfully is and uh, just kind of be in this type of environment. We know we got the, the pictures, it's badass in here, there's weights, you can tell there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this place, a lot of pride and a lot of heart. So I thank John for having me up here, this is just kick-ass, I look forward to coming out here even more and just... Slamming bars and you know PR and all the time, but uh, yeah, man, it, it's it's real. So shout out to all the underground strength coaches and uh, oh, yeah. just know, guys, you guys can do anything in life and in this world. It's just a matter of doing the hard work, staying committed to it, and uh, hard work and the consistency. But that's it, Coach Show, Zach Strength, Grindhouse Training Systems, JVH Performance, kicking ass, taking names. Peace out, guys. Peace. Where? That went good. Yeah, that was good. Fuck that shit.